in here, roll in here, and we have some special guests joining us today from Richmond Raceway. We're going to be live on their channels as well in just a second. So let's give them a second to join in, get your pen and paper ready, or your crayons, or your markers, or your color pencils, whatever you want, and we're going to start drawing. Are you ready to start drawing? I am, because today we have a very special drawing. But like I said, let's let our friends get a chance to join in, and then we'll start. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun today. That'll be fun. All right, hey, our friends from Richmond Raceway there, we're live on the Richmond Raceway Facebook and Twitter page today. This is the first time we've done that with them, and this is the first time that we're going to draw the Richmond Raceway in a famous special scene from Richmond Raceway. I'm Boris. I work for Joe Gibbs Racing. You might have figured that part out. And uh, have you figured out why they call me Boris yet? Have you figured that part out? Well, let me, let me show you a picture here. Yeah, this is what I looked like when I first started uh, working for Joe Gibbs Racing about 11 years ago. And do I look like this guy? Yeah, that's Boris said, the race car driver. Remember him? Well, I wasn't trying to look like him on purpose, just like I'm not trying today. Our stay-at-home orders have uh, rendered my hair very poofy. I'm, I, uh, I need sport clips, to say the least. And uh, anyway, Joey Logano gave me the nickname Boris, and it's coming back with a vengeance today. Well, today we're going to draw some race cars. I grew up loving to draw, and I grew up loving race cars, so I figure, why not put the two together? and uh, have a race car drawing show while we're doing these stay-at-home orders and we're staying healthy and we're staying safe. I hope you're having a good day. Today, we're going to draw Kyle Busch's race car, but not just the race car. We're going to draw it at Richmond Raceway, but not just at Rich Richmond Raceway. We're going to draw it during a pit stop. That's right, we're going to have to draw some people today. Now don't worry, we're, we're not going to get too detailed, too crazy, but we're going to draw some pit stop pit crew members. The guy on the air gun, the jack man, the fueler, the tire carrier, that's right, we're going to draw them today. Are you ready? Let me show you the picture here. Remember this car? Kyle Busch's M&M's caramel car. Actually, we're going to draw another blue car. It's going to be the pretzel car. Because on this day in history, Kyle Busch won at Richmond. Can you believe that? He won for the third race in a row at Richmond on this day in history. And Denny Hamlin finished second. Sorry, Denny. But uh, Kyle won this one, so we're drawing him today. But this is the pit crew we're going to draw. Are you ready? Are you warmed up? Do you have your drawing instruments and utensils and tools ready? I'm on an iPad using the Procreate app, but you don't have to do that, of course. You can use a pen and paper. I've seen people drawing on chalk. I've seen all sorts of stuff. So let's give it a shot. What do you say? Got a new page here. Got my color black ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is warm up with the shape of Richmond. This helps us to know what we're drawing. Give us a, give us a little warm up here. So Richmond is like this. Start with the back stretch because that's the straight straight away. Makes it a little easy. Richmond in some ways is like the letter D. Now I'm drawing a D on its end, but you'll see. Next, I want you to draw a letter C on each end, but kind of stop short. This kind of looks like bull horns, doesn't it? Like the horns on a bull? Something like that. Now here's where Richmond Raceway is unique. It's about a three-quarter mile track, and it doesn't have a straight front straightaway, and it doesn't have a dog leg like Daytona or Talladega, and it doesn't have a double dog leg like Charlotte or Texas or Atlanta. It, uh, it has a round sweeping front straightaway. Sweeping. Got it? So you want to make it kind of a rounded straightaway too kind of like this. A little bit of a jelly bean kind of shape. See what I'm saying? And thankfully the people that paved and designed Richmond Raceway are much better at drawing straight clean lines than I am. So mine are a little messy. The real track is much more clean than this one. But that's what we're going to draw today is a view, a scene from this really exciting track. Now we raced there just last week. Well, the week before last week, on iRacing. The real world drivers raced on there. Had a great race. Good finishes for Kyle Busch, Eric Jones, Denny Hamlin, and Bobby Labonte. But of course we're going to draw Pit Road, which does one of these kind of curve deals at Richmond. It's got a curve to it. And we are going to set our scene right where I put this green dot. Right about there. 
That's where we're going to be standing in our picture at Richmond Raceway. All right, did you warm up? You feel loose? You feel good? You got the track shape drawn? We'll get ready to draw some race cars. All right, here we go. New piece of paper, new clean screen. I'm ready. Are you ready? We're going to draw race cars and we're going to draw a pit crew. First, I want you to draw a big sweeping line over here. Like this. Remember I told you the front stretch at Richmond is curved? Well, that's what that curve is. That's going to indicate the wall of our racetrack. We have to set our scene first. And then up here if you draw another sweeping line, that could be where we're going to draw the tower, the grandstand, the skyboxes, the suites, whatever you want to call them. Really bold up there is, is where Richmond has that. Now I'm just doing it kind of messy because we're going to draw some swooshes and some fast lines in here to make it look like things are moving quickly. So this is not a perfect architectural rendering, but this is the glass. And then we'll have a grandstand in there in a minute. Again, we're just warming up with some easy stuff. Set your scene there. Now, let's move on to the race car. Are you ready? I want you to draw a line at a similar angle. Put it about right there like that. Now the important part of this drawing to me, the subject matter, the focus of this drawing is going to be the pit crew. So we're not going to spend as much time on the car. We will spend some time on it, but we're going to make sure we leave room for the pit crew around it. So the car is going to be a little smaller than normal, and it's going to be a little less detailed than normal, but that's okay. Alright, you got your line there. Now I want you to draw a line up like this, and up like that, just about as straight up as you can get it. We're going to draw a rectangle at an angle. This is going to be the side of Kyle Busch's car. Like that. You got that? While you're finishing that, I'm going to check out your comments because I really love seeing what you all are typing, what you're doing, if you're enjoying this. If you're on the Richmond Raceway page, are you watching from Virginia? How many people from Virginia do we have watching today? from the Richmond Raceway page. I really appreciate you joining us out there. It's been really fun. And uh, the fun's just beginning. Thank you for all the comments and all the love. Next, draw a line like this. We're drawing the nose area. We're drawing a box, and then we're gonna chisel away the race car. Just like when I was in Boy Scouts and we did that for the Pinewood Derby. We take a block of wood and we chisel it away. Well, now we're doing that on paper. Then draw a line like that, and then a line up like that. You see how we're making a cube? Or more of a uh, rectangular box? That's right. It's coming together. Alright, let's see how those commenters are doing out there. Are you enjoying this? Oh yeah. Having fun. Making the most of our time at home. Like you. Are you like me? You need a haircut? Yeah. I feel you. Alright. We've got our a little part of our box here. Now let's finish off our race car shape by rounding off this edge. That's the nose. And just bring it back like that. And do the same thing over here. Just bring it up like that. You See how I did that? I drew these curved lines in our box. See how I erased that part of the box and that part? And now we have a curved nose for Kyle Busch's curved nose race car. Let's see, do I have that car anywhere around here? Do I have it laying around here anywhere? I don't see it. I have Martin Truex's from yesterday, so you can see that one. Maybe that'll help you out. That's what we're drawing. All right, who's out there watching? I hear you. I hear you. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all appreciate all the the good things going on out there. A lot of hearts. A lot of retweets. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on. Let's let's draw the roof here. Let's see. We need a line like this. And then I want you to draw kind of a bubble, kind of a contact lens, kind of an igloo shape over like that, and make us a roof. That's a different way we've ever done it, but hey, it works pretty well for this, doesn't it? Now, like I said, I'm drawing some jagged lines, some swooshy lines. That's the way I like to do it. Can you tell I like things a little more messy? like my hair? No. Well, 
If you like them straight and perfect, give it your best shot. It might take you a little longer, but that's okay. But what we're doing here is we're going to have a lot of motion and action around the race car with the, car, the crew members running around it. So that's why we're doing it this way. I'm doing it a little more sketchy. What's up, Danny from Boston? Andy, Chad, and Austin are watching. Russell, Rick, and Christine. There's Daniel. His mom, Sally. He's using her account to watch. I appreciate that. Thank you, Daniel. Brenton's in Rock Hill. Brian's in Ohio. I'm in North Carolina. Uh, let's see. Tammy's watching. Randy's watching. Gary's watching. Thank you all. All right, let's draw the trunk. And the spoiler. Like I said, we're going to focus on pit crew, so let's just do kind of a quick detail work on Kyle Busch's car here. Next, we need a little bumper. Yeah. I'm going to show you the picture that we're drawing. If I can pull it up again here. Look at that. That's what we're drawing right there. See, we got the tower back here, we got the wall, we got the car zooming by, and you got the pit crew. That's what we're drawing, so stick with me. This is going to be pretty awesome. Okay. Next, let's add some ovals for the wheels. Just put one about right there and one at the back. Remember, we're going to focus on the pit crew. This is a little bit of a rough race car. We're going a little quicker. That's okay. We want the focus, the viewer's attention, to be on the pit crew. So we're just going a little quick on the car, having some fun. All right. Now remember how we did an igloo shape on our race car roof? We'll do another smaller one to make the window, okay? Like this. Start at the point and go up and make another little half moon shape like that. And then cut it in half for the B post. There you go. And just like that, we have a window for Kyle Busch to climb in and out and for the air to get into the vents in the rear window. It's all coming together, very nice. Alban's watching, Daniel, Sergey, Cindy, Bill, Paul, thank you all so much. Vicky's out there, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Thank you for the hearts and the comments. Next, draw the windshield in there, which is a line like that. See how I'm doing that? A line across the top, and then a line following our A post right there. And now we have a windshield. Yeah, looking good. Kyle Busch's car coming together. I'm going to round this nose off a little bit. It was kind of jagged there. We don't want it to be too jagged. You don't want to pop any tires. There we go. All right. So this is Kyle Busch's car sitting on pit road. Before we add details in the car, I'm going to start getting started on the pit crew because I'm just so excited. I don't think I've ever drawn a pit crew before. Have you? Have you drawn a pit crew before? We've got a lot of friends on Kyle Busch's pit crew like TJ and Joe. All sorts of people out there on Kyle Busch's pit crew that do such a great job. Looking forward to getting back to racing one day soon. Let's add them in there. What do you say? The first one I want you to draw is the tire changer. He's the one with the air gun. You know? Let me show you kind of what an air gun is. I got one sitting over here. Now this is not exactly an air gun, but it looks very similar. This is an impact wrench. But the shapes are the same, and, and this is going to help us draw it. So, see that? Yeah, not an air gun. We use, on the pit stops, we want use one that has an air hose connected to it. This one is electrical. I guess that battery's full, isn't it? That's a DeWalt air gun, but it's got the, the part up here to go into the lug nut, over the lug nut, and then, it, and then it spins. Yeah, that's the person we're drawing first. He's the one that takes the lug nuts on and off of the tire, the wheel, I should say. So, let's draw him over here. Now we're just going to do stick figures and then we're going to fill them in. Even artists do stick figures. So, draw his head first. Draw his head right about there. Just like we used a box for the race car, we're going to use lines and shapes for people. Now if you look at him in this picture, he is, he is really fast. He is moving right along. He's like a superhero, like the Flash. Alright? So we're going to draw his arms like that, and we're going to draw the air gun in his hands, and we're going to draw him at an angle to look like he's going fast. So draw his head, and then draw an angle like that. That's his body and one leg right there. All right? 
Stick with me here. We're drawing stick figures to make a pit crew. Next, draw one arm going up like this. Remember how he was running? He's like that. Draw it up like that. And then draw the other arm like this. Kind of like he's in a running position. See that? So all I did was draw a shape across his body that went like that. The letter Z. Do you know you can make people out of letters? We got an O, we got an I, and we got a Z. That's why if you're intimidated about drawing people, I think you can do it. I really do, because it's just about finding shapes we already know how to draw and putting them in our drawing. If you're just joining us and you're watching from the Richmond Raceway page, I appreciate it. We cannot wait to get back to Richmond in the real world. It was fun in virtual reality and iRacing, but we can't wait to get back in the real world and start racing again. Beautiful track, one of our best tracks. If not, actually, I think it's JGR's best track ever. So let's draw the air gun in his hands. So I draw a little circle like this. And I draw the part that he holds right there. And then the part that goes out right there is kind of big and bold. And then it has a little, a little nib on it. That's where the lug nut gets hit. There you go. Now, I told you this was his leg, right? So we need to put a foot. And then we need the other leg. And I want you to do the other leg like this. Like the number four. See how it made the number four? If I drew it in another color, it would be like the number four. See that? Well, you don't have to do it in orange, but I'm just doing it so you can see it. He might be wearing orange. He might be wearing the, the orange M&M's fire suit. After that, we're going to fill in where his chest would be, just kind of making it, it thicker here in his waist. Just thickening it up. That's just a thick stick figure, giving him some muscles. There we go. All right. That's pretty good, isn't it? Well, we've got our, our tire changer. We'll go back in and we'll add some detail. Don't worry, we're just sketching out the frames right now. Who are we going to draw next? How about the fueler? The fueler looks like he has an easy job, I have to admit. All these other people are running around the car, but the fueler is just standing still. But let me tell you, the fueler does not have an easy job. That fueler is holding a very, very heavy fuel tank above his head, and it has a nozzle that has to go into the car and he has to get it perfectly fit in that hole the first time. And if he doesn't, the pit stop's going to be slow. And everybody's going to be looking back at the fueler saying, Why are you so slow, buddy? So the fueler does not have an easy job. So let's give him some love and draw him back here. Now remember, the fuel port is about right there on the car. So draw the fueler's head like this. Let me show you a picture. Let me show you our fueler. See him back there? See him standing over there? So let's draw his head first, like that. And then draw a line that's kind of curved like this. Okay? That's the angle I saw on his body. This is the body going down to the leg and a foot. Okay? That's how I like to start drawing a person in action right there. All right. The other foot, if we look, is angled to give him some support at the knee. So do one of these. He's leaning forward on his leg, giving some support to that big heavy fuel can that we're going to draw in a second. Next, one arm is right here. Draw that. And the other one we can barely see it, but it's up here. It looks like it's coming out of his head, but he has it up like this. He's holding that fuel can. Looks kind of funny without the fuel can, doesn't it? We have to draw that next. You can catch up there. I'm going to read some more comments. we got David watching out there, Deborah and Patricia, Eric and Keith, Chad and Brady, Russell and Johnny and Chuck, Glenda and Jacob, Matt. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Where are you watching from? I'm in North Carolina. You may be near Richmond Raceway. We're live on the Richmond Raceway page and we're drawing a picture at Richmond Raceway where Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin have won 
a lot. Actually, throw Martin Truex Jr. in there too. Okay, let's draw the fuel can now. now I'm going to draw this in red. That's what color it really is in the real life. If you have red, you can do that. I'm really just doing it so you can see. So the fuel can is going to start at the fuel port on the car. It's got a long kind of hose tube area like that. And then it cuts up behind the drive or behind the fueler. And it goes all the way up over his head. See that? I'm going to fill in red so you can see what's going on. There's the fuel can. Why do you think they make that fuel can red? Someone tell me in the comments why you think that we're required by NASCAR rules to make the fuel can red. All right. Let you catch up there with that fuel can. Let's see. Next, I'm going to widen out the body a bit. Those fuelers are big people. They are, have to be big and strong. I'm thinking about my buddy Ed and Kenneth. Those are some fuelers at Joe Gibbs Racing. Big strong guys there. All right. There's our fueler. So remember, we're going to come back and add some more details in these people later. We're just sketching out where they're going to go. What's next? How about the tire carrier? Yeah, the tire carrier. He carries sometimes two very heavy wheels and tires and flings them around and mounts them perfectly on the car so that the changer can... You know, they can come in there, get those lug nuts. Perfect. So let's, let's draw the carrier. Let me show you a picture of our carrier here at the front. In this picture, that's Brad, my buddy Brad. He's rolling that wheel and that tire down the, the, the tarmac there. So let's draw him at an angle as well because he's in an angle. And we're going to draw him up front here. And we have to draw him next to this partner of his, the changer. And we have to draw him with a wheel rolling on the ground. So start with the head. He's pretty close to this guy. they got to stick together. Just draw a line like this at an angle. He's running like that. Draw a foot. That's how I like to start. It gives the general angle of where our person is. See that? His other leg is over here. Just like this guy, he's making the number four. They're in, they're in unison. They are so well coordinated that they're running exactly the same. Isn't that amazing? But his shoulders are angled down like this because he's reaching down for a wheel and a tire like this. Here's his arm. You can draw a hand like that. His other arm is doing something like that. And then I'm going to fill it in, give him some muscles, just fill it in a bit so that it looks like a real person and not a stick. All right, next we need to draw that wheel and tire. We've done that before on race cars, haven't we? Well, it's just an oval, but it's all by itself. So I want you to draw an oval like this. I mean, that is a skinny oval. It almost looks like a, like a big long loaf of Italian bread or something like that. See that? Zoom in so you can see that the wheel we're drawing on the ground. I'm going to let you catch up. I know there's a lot going on with these people. This might be the first time you've drawn people, and some people find it very hard to draw people. But we're practicing here. Practice makes perfect. And, uh, and I think that's going to be a good, a good way to practice up here. So that's his arm. He's kind of running like that, holding the wheel. All right. Next, we're making a cylinder, right? So we have to draw a line out like that and a line out like that. And then you connect them at the top. There we go. How's that looking on your screen? Pretty good? Yeah. All right. So now there's just one position left. Do you know which position that is? Back in the day when this race car was racing, we had two carriers. Now there's one. But uh, we're just going to draw one today. I'm going to read some more comments while you're catching up. 
Hannah, Keith, Shane. Janae is watching. Hi, Janae. Preston's watching. What's up, Preston? How you been? Peter is out there. Kathy and Michelle all having a good time. We're drawing Richmond Raceway and we're drawing Kyle Busch's pit crew too. Final one, Jackman. All right. The Jackman is the one that jacks up the car. So where are we going to put him? Now in our picture, he's hidden back here, hidden behind the car. I don't like that one that much because you can't see him, you know? We've got to be able to see the Jackman. So let's let's say he's already made it over here. I'm actually going to draw him. His head's going to be right here, and it looks like it's touching the other guy, but he's really closer to us in space. You'll, you'll see why it makes sense. But he is going to be leaning over really far like that. Put one leg back there. And then another leg up here. Really leaning. Look at that lean. He's got to get a lot of muscle into that jack to push it down on the handle and jack up the big heavy race car. So he's leaning over. And let's draw his arm. Both arms going forward to make a triangle point where they meet together like that. See what I did there? His, these are his shoulders. And then his arms come together like this because they're both on the handle making a triangle. Got that? All right. Very good. In fact, what's going to be cool is we're going to draw this car up in the air a little bit. Let me show you. Let's see if I can show you what I mean there. So if I erase that shadow like this, and I draw the jack. The jack is just going to be a stick. Let me choose a different color so you can see it. So here's the stick, the handle of the jack, like that. And then the jack is basically just a rectangle. It's holding the car up, like that. Got it? Now to make it look like the car is in the air, you have to draw the shadow at an angle. So I want you to start at the bottom of your jack, like that, and draw a line out, and then follow it around the car, and then bring it to merge into the nose of the car, like that. And then come back here, don't draw into the jack man's head there, but draw right there, and then fill in the shadow. Now it's going to look like that car is up in the air, being jacked up so that the tire changers can take off the tires and the wheels. Get Kyle Busch some new Goodyear tires, fuel, and be back on our way. Just widening out our jack man here, giving him some muscles. Looking pretty good. All right. And just like that, we have our pit crew. Now we do need to add some details to it, and we will in a second, just like with the race car, but I want you to take a look at your drawing and just sit back and enjoy it for a second because I think it's a big accomplishment to draw cars and people in the same drawing. I know I feel pretty good about it. It can be intimidating, but we worked with basic shapes, circles, and lines, and colors, and swooshes, and curves, and we, uh, we brought it together. So now that all it is is just putting on some dressing, making it look Good. putting on some ornamentation and color and details and making it all come together, right? We've got the curve of the Richmond Raceway front stretch, the grandstand, the tower, the track. It's all looking good. So what do you say we start adding some detail? Like a window net on Kyle Busch's car. Up and down lines like this. Look good, look good. How about some headlights? Let's draw some angled lines like that. See that? I can even come in here and erase this line. We don't really need that anymore. If you can't erase, that's okay. We'll just make it part of our hood or of our nose or, or whatever else. That Toyota Camry front nose is very aggressive. I like just drawing a kind of a V shape in there and of course the circle for the Camry logo. And then it comes to a spike like that. 
and I just fill all that area in with black. Things are happening fast in this drawing, so I'm drawing sketchy. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to make it look like the real car as much as I can. See that? Very good. On these pit crew, we got to give them some helmets. So I like to just do this. I like to just leave a little visor strip on there. See how it looks like a helmet now? We just left a little rectangle in the middle. Now they do kind of look like Power Rangers too, but they kind of are in their own way. See that? Leave a little visor strip and now all of a sudden it looks like a helmet. Another cool thing we can add is the air hose. Have you ever seen the air hose connected to the gun? So do this. Find the bottom of your gun and just draw a snake shape like this. Make sure you don't trip over that air hose though. That's trouble. So now we got an air hose. Kyle Busch's pit crew is one of the best in the sport and we're drawing them today. Having fun. Right, while you're catching up, I'm going to read some more comments. Love seeing what y'all are doing. Love and love uh, drawing with you. I hope you're going to post a picture of your drawing too because uh, yeah, I like seeing it. And on Friday, tomorrow, I'm going to show off some of the best ones from this week. Okay? Kathy's watching. Elizabeth, Vashun, Tim, Rachel. Thank you all so much for watching. We're having fun drawing Kyle Busch's race car. How about a door number? Remember how to do that? Find the door on your car and then draw a square. Or a rectangle. Whatever works out. This is a little more of a rectangle than it is a square and then divide it in half. Kyle Busch, of course, runs number 18, so I divided it in half to make a one, and then a big space here will make an eight by adding a dot there and adding a dot there. Look how quick that 18 came together. You could turn that into any number you want, but I made an 18, and I'm just gonna round off the edges like so. And now we have the number 18. Very nice. I think I'm going to put another line back here to make our racetrack. Remember we talked about how the front stretch is curved? Oof, that's a wavy line. I'm going to straighten that baby out. So that's our front stretch. I'm going to add some swooshes in there to make asphalt. I'm not going to color over our pit crew though, we want to keep them at the forefront. And the thing I really like about Richmond Raceway, I know it's subtle, but look at this wall. Look how cool their wall is there at Richmond. It's like an old school throwback. This is the way the walls were in the 70s in, in NASCAR. An alternating red and white pattern. It's going to make for a very cool drawing, let me tell you and let me show you. If I grab this red color, and I'm just going to add a dash for this wall every other spot here look at this yeah just like that that Richmond Raceway wall comes together beautiful now we know exactly what track we're at I can't wait to get back to Richmond and race there it's one of the most exciting tracks you can race at alright what next how about we draw some of the M&Ms on there Now the M&M's pretzel car is blue and orange mostly. The orange is the pretzel character. So I'm just going to draw some circles on here. These aren't perfect. These are just representational of his car. Like that. Draw some circles. Have some fun. Draw a little square up there to indicate that there was a number up there. We're just kind of roughly drawing it in. M&M circles. And then we're going to do the base of it. We're going to make it blue, like this. If you don't have any crowns or colors or color pencils, that's okay. Just watch me here and come back to it a little later. It's okay to just draw in black and white for now. In fact, this race car, the Richmond Races, this one was at night. So, the more black and white you do, actually, the more realistic it is. 
Color it in there with some blue. Add it in there. Looking good, looking great. Gonna fill this in over here with some blue. Who remember these blue cars that Kyle Busch raced? There was a pretzel car, there's a caramel car. I think he won with both of them at Richmond. Oh yeah, looking good. Fill in the trunk color, fill in the roof up here. The number's white, so we luck out there. We don't have to fill that one in. Just add a little more blue up here on the nose. All right, now I'm gonna add some orange. A lot of orange here on the M&M's pretzel car. Oh yeah, looking good. How about some yellow? There's a yellow M&M, of course. On him there. And of course you got a green M&M. You know the colors, right? Green M&M. But orange is the star of this car. He's the pretzel. Pretzel M&M. Don't forget the red up here. Very nice. Mostly done there. All right. I'm gonna make sure I add my brown M&M too. We're forgetting that one. We don't want to forget the brown M&M. Put that right there. All right. Kyle Busch's car coming together. Now, if you want to write M&Ms on here, you can. Sometimes, because we don't have much space, we're just gonna write a lowercase M. And M. I'm gonna put it on the hood too. M. And M, apostrophe S. There we go. We're just we don't we don't want to draw too big here because this is kind of a detailed drawing focused on the pit crew. So we're just alluding to things there. You can put the little M's in the middle. The M's in the middle of the candies. Oh yeah, looking good. I like this a lot. Yeah, then you can even start to color in around the pit crew if you want to. I'm going to add some blue around them just to bring it to life a bit. Make, make it sure they're not shadows. I'm just going to outline them in some blue. Basically the same lines that we drew. We're outlining again. And then I'm going to give them certain colors that relate to the M&M that's their favorite. Like this one is the yellow. Color that in there. Then we got an orange one over here. How about the tire changer is an orange? And how about the carriers in green? What else? And how about the fuelers back here is the brown M&M? &M? There we go. So just like that, Kyle Busch's pit crew just got very colorful. I'm going to make the jack silver because it's metal actually a lot of times it's black but we have so many black parts on this car that we want to make sure that they don't get lost in the shadows and whatnot I'll fix my helmet over here so you can see it putting some highlights on the helmets yeah that's looking good how about some gray in the windshield make it look like the super strong plastic that it is it's it's actually not glass we don't want it to shatter right so so super, super, super strong clear plastic. I'm sure the scientists have a name that's more accurate than plastic, but that's what I'm going to say it is right now. All right, color in the spoiler in black. Yeah, this is looking really good. The color in the wheels in dark gray. How's yours looking? I'm going to do some show and tell tomorrow on our episode at noon Eastern time. We're going to show off your drawings, so please post them in the comments or tweet them to me. Made some yellow Goodyear letters on the tires there. Look how good that's looking. Next I'm going to go in here with some light gray and I'm going to fill in just a little bit under underneath the pit crew here. Just add some swooshes in there to even though the car's sitting still, it looks good 
when it looks like things are moving fast. That Toyota Camry, it's so aggressive looking that even when it's sitting still, it looks fast. So there we go. That's why I'm putting those swooshes in there for the asphalt and the pavement. Oh, I didn't color in our tire wheel over here that our tire carrier has, did I? I gotta do that. I gotta take some black or dark gray and really fill that in. There we go. Yeah. There we go. How about that? This drawing is coming together really nicely. And again, one of our favorite tracks, Richmond Raceway. Hard to beat the action and excitement of Richmond Raceway. But thanks, thanks to, to all our fans and our friends out there at Richmond Raceway who have let us draw with them today. It's been a fun show, and uh, we've got about five minutes left, so I'm going to finish up some coloring. I hope you are too. I'm going to read some more comments, and then we'll call it a day. I'm going to go get some lunch. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? i got to get some lunch. How you doing out there? You watching the show? Sean's watching. Sean calls it polycarbonate plastic. All right. I appreciate it, Sean. There's John out there. Daniel's watching. Janae, Devin, Palmier from Canada. Thank you for watching. There's Michelle in uh, Sand Hills. Janae's in Boston. I'm watching on a lunch break. I appreciate that. Patrick's out there. Okay, our drawing's almost done. We have the wall, we have the track. We need to add some people in the grandstands and add some cars on the racetrack. But we're not going to get super detailed. They're just going to be swooshes. Colorful swooshes that indicate people in race car. Like, for example, here's a purple swoosh. Whose car is purple? Well, that's right. Denny Hamlin's car, right? So we're going to draw a purple swoosh right there. See that purple swoosh? That's a race car. You just drew a race car in two seconds. Here's a green car out there. How about Eric Jones in that yellowy DeWalt cars out there? There he is. How about Martin Truex Jr. in that orange car? He's out there. Side by side with Eric. Of course, don't forget you got you got Logano up here. He's in a yellow car. But he's not leading. He's being lapped by Denny. There you go. So that's how you draw some race cars on the track. And then in the grandstands, what color shirts are people wearing? All sorts of shirts. They got green shirts and blue shirts. So just add a bunch of colorful swooshes up here in the grandstand to indicate that people are up there and watching this exciting race at Richmond. We can't wait to make that a reality again soon and head back to Richmond for some racing. But in the meantime, we're staying safe. Appreciate everybody out there watching. All the colors you can think of, red shirts, blue shirts, green shirts, orange shirts, draw them in the grandstands. Look at all the color that adds. You could also just keep it to M&M's colors since this is an M&M's painting drawing. And that would make it all come together nicely. How about some yellow? We need some yellow shirts. Eric Jones fans out there. How about some purple shirts for Denny? Denny fans out there. Yeah, a lot of them at Richmond. How about some gray and black shirts, of course? Why not? Grandstands full, having fun. Orange shirts. I think we already had some of those. Yeah, looking good. Well, I'm really happy with this drawing. I'm, uh, I'm going to call it a day here pretty soon. Just add some more swooshes back there in the grandstand. If you missed it, we drew this wall, which has red dashes on it at Richmond. Really love it. Old school. And then I'm going to add some black in the sky, because this is a night race. So there's some black in the sky for a dark sky for a night race. There's the grandstand, the tower, the suites, the skyboxes, whatever you want to call them at Richmond, sitting right there. I'm going to add some more black around here to kind of give us a little border. And there you go. Just like that, we're done. What do you think? How does yours look? I appreciate you watching today. One more thing. We're not done. I, 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 I fibbed. I'm sorry. We need to add some grass. There's some grass at Richmond. So why don't we put some, some green here, just to, to make it look like there's some grass. You know, as an artist, you got to know when to finish. Sometimes I have a problem with that. Sometimes I just want to keep going because I'm having so much fun. All right.
I'm going to go figure out when Sport Clips is opening back up here around me so I can get a haircut. What do you think? Thank you for watching today. We have drawn Kyle Busch's M&M's pretzel race car and his very fast pit crew. Let's finish our, our work by signing it. I'm going to write my name there. Boris 2020. That's the year we drew it. And there's our picture. How'd yours turn out? Thank you for watching. Thank you, Richmond Raceway, for letting us go live on your channels. And y'all have a good day and a healthy day. And I'll catch you tomorrow at noon Eastern time. Same place.